what's up guys? Happy Tuesday. It again is flow day. Today, I took on another challenge on from Twitter. I got asked to create a flow that auto archives SharePoint document library items from one folder to another, to an archive folder. So what I did was I built a flow that checks, has an item been modified in the last six months, if not auto archive. All right, I'm gonna show you how it's built, ready to check it out, let's go. All right, mm, let's sit down, let's go to flow.microsoft.com, click on my flows, create from blank, and then jump in with me here, all right? So, first things first, you're going to need a recurrence trigger, okay? And so I did a few things here. I set it to every start every uh, one month, uh, starting on the 1st of September, using the Pacific time zone, starting at 9 in the morning, okay? So that's the first time this flow is going to kick off. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to create myself a variable here. And the variable is, I need to get six months ago from today, okay? And I need that to be dynamic because I don't wanna to have to hard code a date in here and change up this flow every month. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a little expression here. It's not a very hard one. I'll go ahead and paste it in the description below so you can have it very simply. And all I did was I get the start of day and then I add negative 179 days, okay? So I know that's a little tricky and adding negative days it works okay and then what I do is uh, I take today's date so the start of day of today UTC now and then I add a, a negative 179 days which takes me back to six months ago and what it does is it lets me look at even so if the item turned six months old today even it still gets archived that's why I did 179 instead of 180 thanks Ahmad for that little tip okay now what I did was I went ahead and I got uh, added an action and I did get file properties only. Get files properties only from SharePoint. So I go ahead and connect to a site and a library and what I did was I said only get me files that are modified less than six months ago from today. Right, our variable we use there. So now those are the only items that get returned get returned to me. So I don't even have to do any comparison. I just get use the filter query right there. Very very handy trick. Okay. Now I add an apply to each. Inside the apply to each, I grab the value of each of the files. Okay. And so now under that, I I first get the file metadata. Okay. And so I pass the identifier from the get files and so then what I do is I copy the file to my archive library here so I made a secondary folder named archive my main folder is called documents and so uh, if the item is six months old and hasn't been modified hasn't been modified in the last six months then I go ahead and just go ahead and move it to archive okay so simple as that we're gonna save it we are going to go ahead and go back to the main page here and we're going to oh real quick real quick I'm gonna switch over and I'm gonna show you something so first things first we're gonna go over here to the archive I'm gonna show you I have nothing here okay there's nothing I'm gonna go over to documents whole bunch of stuff here and there's some very old stuff here as well okay but I just wanted to show you that uh, I didn't have this pre-populated there's nothing in this archive folder right let's go back to the flow and uh, and let's run it All right, and now it's running. So hit our recurrence. We got our six months ago to work. It gets all the files, and now it's running through the apply to each on each file, okay? So let's go ahead and switch over to Edge here. Oh, and look at that. We can see that the first files are already starting to arrive. Now, if this was real world, uh, and I actually wanted this to happen for me and I wasn't trying to build you a demo, I'd actually also build in a delete step so that all the items were deleted from the first place uh, and added to the second so that you don't have doubled up files, right? Because that's the whole point of this is, is cleanup, right? And so that's it, guys. You saw the steps there. 
Gonna go back to the flow real quick, start with a recurrence, build your variable, get your file properties, add and apply to each, get your file metadata, metadata, and then copy the file to your new location. Simple as that. See guys, flow is just simple. A few easy steps, auto archiving items happens automatically. You can follow those steps, build that flow. It'll take you five minutes, just like it took me. All right, guys, that's it for today. I'll see you next week with another flow tutorial. Please go ahead and click the like and subscribe button. Also, I'm going to start asking you guys, click on that little bell so you get the notifications every time I get a new video out. All right, guys, thanks as always. Much love, like and subscribe. See you next week.